friend. First date. First question that you wanna like, like, so deep. Like the guy that I'm dating. Watching people play video games too. Uh, I just bought this mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the new wave of video gaming. I don't. I used to play video games when I was in high school, but uh, then I had to study, so I stopped. I don't play video games. I'm not gamer. I like first-person shooters. Play Call of Duty. Play Tekken, Mario, like stuff like that, like the Mario. generic games, yeah. <laughs> Mario Party, Mario Kart, N64, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. I know China has a team, they're called Tyloo. They're really good in Dota. I don't like shooter games and I play a lot of like puzzle and logic games. So like video games where you're like, there's a goal you're trying to find or like if you're, you have to like work together a lot. So that's the games I play. The, the only two games I play religiously are Fallout and The Last of Us. Yo, Fallout is amazing. I have it on my phone. I don't know, I'm super competitive. I don't know about you. <laughs> my boyfriend of 11 years is such a gamer that that's the reason why I started playing because it was kind of like if you can't get them off the game and if you feel bad for trying to break the game, you might as well just play. And then once I started playing, I got into it. The thing is, uh, we both work restaurants. I'm a chef and she's a waitress and she's also an actress. So like she has her own things to do. So if she needs to work on her whatever for acting, then she's fine home on my computer that she understands. If that makes them happy. Sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind if my uh, partner play video games, like they can have their own time and then I'll probably end up playing with them, so I wouldn't mind. Because I'm not in into video games, I feel like if she was really into it, it probably wouldn't work. It's not comfortable to me. I want uh, to be here in real life. I was raised not, not allowed to have any video games and I'm glad. Okay, I'll admit I'm a troll. Um, I've done a lot of research. I actually wrote a thesis on trolling and Counter-Strike and hacking. Um, so sometimes I'll just let her do the voice. So I'll play and then she'll just make fun of everybody. And they can't believe the girl's beating them, let alone actually a girl. I was actually married for five years. And what I loved about this guy, I mean, we're divorced, so obviously, right? But one quality I found attractive was he didn't play video games. I liked that. But I will say, um, I think it just depends because like there's a guy that I was seeing for a little while recently. He likes video games, but it doesn't like control him. So he might play it like 30 minutes to like or an hour with his friends, but he's not coming home every day playing it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. I feel like that's weird. When you're a grown man, just saying, or a woman, and you're playing video games like six hours a day and holding your honey's hand to the side, I'll be back, lady. That's weird to me. I will encourage it. Games is uh, very cool for education. Oh, absolutely. The video game business is a billion, trillion dollar company. My brother used to like be a hardcore gamer, but then it affected his life positively because like for him, whenever like he accidentally breaks his computer from playing the game too much, he learned how to fix it. He's like working now in tech and it's sort of like because he played a lot of video games, he had a lot of experience like fixing computers. So. I think it's more of what you do with that experience afterwards. Reinforce to the kids that games are just games, it's not real life. And also not to let the children kind of be in the house all day long after school and all night. They should still be able to go out and be social with uh, people of their age to like give them like more of a social life. It's maybe uh, nice for uh, make money. Why not? Everything has to be uh, on a certain level. If it's good, if it, if it gets out of hand, it's not a good idea. Yeah, balance is key. There's so much in the world to do. There's such trafficking. There's, you know, doctors. There's even just art. Like, there's so many things to do. Video games are a good way to learn things, but you can't spend your whole life doing them. You have to learn how to, just like with anything in life, how to divide it and to time management for it so you can't spend too much time doing something. Yeah, so if you're doing it right, then it's okay.